Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're talking about Drastic, PCSX2, and RetroArch. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, it shocked a lot of people, myself included, when Drastic was taken off the Play Store. After a few days of being offline, it is now back in full force here, and it is still a paid app at the time of filming. Now, for those that are unaware, Drastic is an amazing Nintendo DS emulator on Android, and the entire reason it was taken off the Google Play Store, as we discussed in a previous video, was the fact that Google or someone else wasn't happy with their description. So the Drastic team had to rewrite the description, resubmit it to Google, and get it reapproved. And it looks like they did just that. I love the first sentence here. Drastic is a fast emulator for Android that emulates a popular 2004 handheld console with two screens. I'll give you two guesses as to what that console is. On top of that, it's heavily rumored here that Drastic will be free at some point. And it's also heavily rumored here that Drastic will be going open source at some point. Probably free before open source and that may or may not have been confirmed by a Drastic developer. When I know more, you'll know more. Moving on now and we're talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on PC with PCSX2. In a previous video we mentioned PCSX2 was getting texture replacement thanks to Stenzek, the developer of DuckStation. Stenzek has been doing amazing work helping out the PCSX2 team. I would almost argue at this point that Stenzek is kind of a part of the PCSX2 team. Anyways, texture replacement is now available in development builds of PCSX2, and it's pretty easy to get. All you have to do is head to PCSX2.net, go to download, and then click on development. From here, you can pick up a Windows or Linux development build. Just make sure you're picking up version 1.7.2389 or later. Those versions will all contain texture replacement. Last up, we're talking about RetroArch on Android, just not the Google Play Store version of RetroArch, at least at the time of filming. RetroArch just had a pretty big update in the development versions. They have now fixed the scope storage issue on Android devices. Now, if you are interested in testing out one of these development builds of RetroArch on Android, I will leave a link in the description below, but just be warned here, it's not guaranteed everything is going to work smoothly because this is technically not a stable release. But you can just pick up the APK from here, download it and install it, and you should be good to go. And just a friendly reminder here, if you always want the latest and greatest stable version of RetroArch, it probably won't be on the Google Play Store. We can see here on the Play Store, it's version 1.9.12. But if we go to the RetroArch website here, we can see the latest version is 1.10. You can pick up the APK directly from this website. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today, whether it was Drastic, PCSX2, or RetroArch in the comments below. If I miss something, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.